Hi everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. It's Il Coslam on the grandeur of the seas, Royal Caribbean. Yes, indeed. This is not a green screen. <laughs> So welcome on board the Grand Ship of the Seas. This is Royal Caribbean's smallest and oldest ship currently yes. sailing out of the Port of Tampa. This was our first time out of the Port of Tampa and we'll do uh, another video on that, kind of describing that for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but today we want to run through the pros and cons of this glorious old ship. Yes, if you can, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you love this incredible background that we just couldn't create. This is not man-made, okay? <laughs> We are actually filming on a cruise that we took over the weekend. We lost our dear, lovely pup, Snowball, but we will see him again. I believe he got his wings and he's soaring up there somewhere in heaven. Yep, so we just needed to mm -hmm. take our own advice and life short and have fun. Mm -hmm. And we just needed to get away, unplug from everything and just reset. And I think that we're, we're, we're getting there well. Hey, listen, if you would do us a great big favor, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when we go live or upload informative videos like this. Thank yes. you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you so much for the comments too. We appreciate it. Hugs to everybody who commented. All right, so let's dive on in. And so I'm gonna start this off by saying that uh, we're gonna run through, there's a lot more pros than there is cons for one. We're gonna run through the pros first um, and then we'll go into the cons. I am taking into account that this is not the newest ship in the fleet, right? So I'm not gonna judge this ship the same way I would say the Icon. We have to go easy on it. You know, it's it's kind of funny when you look at something like the Icon, which is brand new and it's broken down a couple of times, had a fire in the engine room, mm -hmm. and here this old girl is from 1996 just chugging along. She never breaks down. <laughs> she went just went through a tropical storm. We were on it. We're gonna get off we're gonna get into that later. But she's been rolling since '96. Can you believe it? She's in great shape considering that. Yep, yep. All right, so let's let's start running through our pros. So uh, first off on our pros, which I think is very important to a lot of people, is it's a very affordable trip. It is super affordable. If you want a quick weekend, let me tell you, we found this trip in two days. Yep. So like uh, like Miss Traveler said, we lost our puppy dog, and we're like, you know what, we just need to get away, turn the phones off, mm -hmm. unplug from everything, and just heal. And uh, we found an interior. I'm not a big fan of interior state rooms, um, but it took a lot for me had, to get Mr. Traveler to come on here. We, with an we needed to get away from driving and traffic and yeah. just all stress level stuff. We needed to get away from, so we were able to get this uh, interior state room for like $500 total for the both of us for a Thursday to Monday cruise, mm -hmm. leaving from the Port of Tampa going to Cozumel. So that's affordability wise, yes. it was great. And I know people were booking ocean views and balconies for maybe a hundred to three hundred dollars more than that. So it's still very affordable. There are some balconies on the ship, not a lot, um, but there are balconies on the ship. I think there's probably far more ocean views than anything on this ship, um, mm -hmm. but definitely affordable. If you if part of uh, Tampa is convenient for you, uh, this is a great option for you. It really is. We dropping gems. Um, you never hear bloggers tell you how much they actually pay. We do. We do not gatekeep. We actually send you on your way. And if you want to come on this ship, you can just call us 877-697-4470. Or we can be reached at www.mr-traveler.com. We'll be more than happy to take care of it. We have agents as well who can take care of it as well. And you can call us if you just want to kick it. Sometimes when you take a cruise, it's not a celebratory situation you sometimes you literally have to get away and get out of your reality and come back refresh renew revive all the replugins <laughs> that and, you need and we're going to do a whole other video just on that subject so we're going to come back to that moving on with our list um i think we both agree um we've been on this class of ship years and years and years ago and of course you know as time goes on you want to try the newest fanciest thing and all that but now after 80 plus cruises mm -hmm. and us coming on this ship, it's kind of a nostalgic feel for us. So for us, we love the old school feel of the ship. Some people don't like a party ship. And I'm one of those people, I'll do it with my family or I'll do it if it's somebody's birthday or we celebrating something. But sometimes when you want to just get away, like we experienced a trauma this week, you want to come on a very quiet ship. And some of these older ships, they fit the, they fit the situation because there's a lot of 
I would say more elderly than younger people on this ship, but the food is amazing. And there's people on this ship who cruise it over and over and over again. Those are my kind of ships. I don't care, I'm the type, I don't care what the ship looks like. Make sure the food is good. Make sure the service is good. I'm straight. So and it's clean. I'm good. So the one thing when we say old school feel for for the ship, the older Royal Caribbean ships have the Viking Crown Lounge, right? Yes. So they have that signature look for Royal Caribbean, where they have that kind of spaceship looking uh, area on top of the ship. If you've never been on Royal Caribbean for for the newer ships, yes, that area that kind of sort of looks like that now is really sweets area right so the sweets up there that is my favorite area on a nostalgic cruise like this. this is my favorite but these older ships that area is is uh is a lounge area so it's a really cool area where you can just go up there and sit relax watch the world go by it's round uh they have a bar up there this particular ship has an izumi up there but there's no uh teppanyaki portion of it in there it's just all sushi mm -hmm. and japanese cuisine yes but the lounging area is really cool. And you know, there's little hidden areas and quirks and different things that you don't see on the newer ships anymore that's on these older ships. So we, we like that. We love that. Uh, if you're looking for uh, uh, um, Izumi with a, a hibachi and where they stir and do this show, this is not your ship for that. You have to literally sit down and order and they'll bring it to you. They don't do it over the real i don't know what they call it what is it called hibachi, hibachi. they don't do it over <laughs> hibachi but there's a lot of good restaurants on here and I, i'm really i really enjoyed it all right so moving on the next thing we both agreed on this one uh when we were talking about i was i was surprised that she said it too there's actually a motion light motion sensor in the room so in fact, we've only been on two interior rooms out of 80 cruises Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is that thing you've got in your hand? It's a throwback phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is yeah. our second. <laughs> so, yeah, when you get up in the middle of the night to go use yeah. the restroom, um, the little light in the hallway slowly fades on. Yes. And then it's probably maybe a 20, 30 second delay on it, and it'll slowly fade off so that you can, uh, you can be, a little bit more be safe in, right? in there. So, uh, I like that. Uh, addition to the room. It's not as dark and gloomy as you would think it was. Um, we haven't cruised an interior in a very long time. Like I said, we only did two interiors of our whole life out of almost, yeah, it's been 80 cruises since we've been. And to me, that's a safety factor, especially for our elderly or handicapped mm -hmm. people. They love that because when you get up to go use the restroom, there's a ledge that you have to jump up on and you don't want to hit your toe. You don't want to hit your toe on the little desk that's in there. You know that there's a lot of little furniture in there. You can stub your toe like Mr. Traveler did. <laughs> he stubbed his toe. You okay? I'm good, thank okay. you. Okay. Moving on, next pro that we have is we found the dining room food to be uh, pretty good on the ship. It's really good. I, I loved it more than the buffet. I mean, it's not a uh, it's not a home run out of the park type of meal, you know, <laughs> but the, the meals have been, uh, they've been pretty good. I, I can't complain about it. The service has been excellent you know we had my time dining and we decided to have the same waiter every night last night we actually sat and had a window seat so it was great yep yeah and that's the next pro is actually the service that we've been receiving on here the service from our room attendant to the dining room staff to the uh bar personnel around here uh to the guest services that we've used uh all the staff that we've had inter interaction with have been really friendly welcoming um, very upbeat and uh, we really appreciate the service on here. The service is incredible. There's 900 crew on here and it feels like it. There's not very many people on the ship. I think it's between 2,300 and 27. I'll put the number right here on the screen. Um, how many people are on the ship? But there's 900 crew, which means it's almost one person to each person that's here. Uh, there's one or two. So it, it's, it's a really good ratio. They come up to you, ask you if you need anything. Very friendly, very kind service. This is a throwback ship. If you want to be stuck in the 90s and you love smaller ships and you're not into those big ships, this is your ship. Yeah, it doesn't feel crowded at all. So um, our next pro that we like to talk about is, and this was, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this, with it being the smallest and oldest ship in the fleet, you almost kind of sometimes think that maybe the they just forget about you. 
you know. Yeah. Um, but the entertainment has been pretty good on here. The entertainment is amazing. The, you take me back to my nineties. I'm telling you, the my crew, 90s. the cruise director John is on here, and he works with his wife, who she's the activities manager, I think. Yes. And um, they're just a bubble of energy, both of them, they and they bring a lot of, of fun. They remind me of a Las Vegas couple. Yeah. That's the lounge singers. They 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 are married and they are very happy together. Sweet Carolina. I mean, we heard Sweet Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, he can sing. Yeah. And she can too. And the shows have been great. So listen, we had the uh, oldest or the longest running person who's been wor working with World Criminal Nine here, um, who they call him the the man of a thousand voices, I guess. And he yeah. does a lot of impressions. He's from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He was actually the announcer on The, the Price, Price is, is right, right for a while. Yes. He was like, come on down. Yeah, that was he, him. He was he was actually one of uh, one of those people that worked with Bob Barker back in the day, mm -hmm. so he had a really good act. There was a juggling act on there. Some that was really good. Some comedians, the bands, they have a, a live Caribbean band on here. So the entertainment's been really good. I love how the entertainer, of the man of a thousand words, he went all the way back to our childhood and sung the commercials that we grew up on. Yeah, I really enjoyed that, and he's a very good and impersonator of voices of different voices so he imitated everybody from who was it that he imitated he imitated pretty much everybody that we grew up with so i i, I will put him right here yeah, arnold schwarzenegger he did i think he did uh John Travolta. Yeah, he did John Travolta. He yeah. did he did a ton of voices, he did a but ton of them. we'll put a little you Anyway, so the, the entertainment's been great and the thing about it is that we have been in like a tropical system the entire trip pretty yes. much. There's white cats behind us. So <laughs> there's been a lot of you know, even in Mexico it was like borderline raining, not raining. So we've been on the ship quite a bit, and so they've had to provide extra entertainment, and it's been been great. It's pretty much rain every single day we've been on the cruise, but you can't tell with the entertainment that's on the ship. We still enjoyed it. Yep. Our last pro that we'd like to talk about is, I, I was so pleasantly surprised by this. Um, we had a little bit of a late embarkation because we just had Hurricane Milton in the Tampa area. We did. Shout out to everybody who went through the hurricane. And there's uh, some delays at the ports because they're fixing things and all that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we actually got our mustard drill video sent to us to our phones ahead of time. You know, they're very advanced technology on this one. I was surprised. So we watched our we watched our video for the safety mustard drill in our hotel in Tampa Bay. Mm -hmm. And then we got on the boat. We got on on deck five. Well, guess what? Our mustard drill, our mustard station was right there on deck five. So we walked on the ship, walked right over to the mustard drill before we even went inside the ship, checked in with that person. And we were done with our mustard drill before we even put a foot on the inside of the ship. I love it. And I, oh, I hope, God. I hope that Royal Caribbean adopts this with all their ships. It was amazing to so get the video ahead of time, mm -hmm. make sure that you guys watch it. And then when you get on board, all you gotta do is just go right to your muster station. And we didn't even have to have our room key. Mm -hmm. We just used our pass that we had our onboard, uh, our onboard document. And we just showed that and they scanned it for both of us and we were done. I hope they, I, I hope and pray they do this for all the cruises because it a it's beautiful. You get on the ship, go to your muscle drill thing, go on the board the ship. It was beautiful and it was saved so much time. Please Royal Caribbean, make that happen. It was awesome. I, I really enjoyed, number one, the, the port Tampa, the, the port in Tampa was amazing. The people were so friendly and kind. When you first come on the ship, they mm -hmm. introduced themselves the i don't know if they contracted out or not but they were just so warm and kind it was one of the nicest ports we ever sailed off of but don't let this nostalgic ship fool you they are up on the technology on the ship mm -hmm. in the rooms you have even though the the, the furniture is kind of dated you know i would say it'll put you in the 90s there's flat screen tvs motion light in the interior they, they have some really good things going on with this one yeah I can um, see this ship selling a little bit more, but they may retire it soon. From 
dropping off our luggage to getting on board the ship was probably 15 minutes at most. Maybe tops, 15 minutes tops. Yeah, so it was really convenient, really enjoyed it, so bravo. Mm -hmm. um, so let's move on to the kind of side of, of this ship, which we don't have a lot, but we'll tell you so we can help set expectations. Yes, we're gonna uh, tell you the truth so you won't be shocked when you get on here. So, for, so first of all, one kind, and, and, I'm, and I'm using this as a kind lightly because you know the ship was built in 1996, so you, mm -hmm. you should you expect it. You already know it. what to expect. It is dated. I mean, there's there's mm -hmm. certain things, but guess what? It's very well kept up. Yes, don't it's, get on this ship. It's very well maintained. Don't get on this ship and say, "Oh my God, it's old." Okay, yeah. we know we got that part. You, we telling you ahead of time before you get and on. When this, it, so don't comment. And when this oh thing, my God. when this thing hits a couple of waves, she gets to creaking and cracking she a little gets bit. Creaking and cracking, she gets to moving. You know, she gonna move. <laughs> she is not one of those big ships that can handle it. You are gonna move. When they hit it, when they hit a wave, I, but we on deck three and we really don't feel a lot. I didn't have this on the list, but I would say, I would be cautious if you have your kids with you. Make sure you keep an yes. eye on them when they're on the outer decks, mm -hmm. because the railings on here, they're they seem to me to be lower than most ships. Like they come up to my waist. They are s short. <laughs> yeah. To us, because we almost six feet tall. Me and this traveler, if you see us in person, you'll be like, wow, they tall. Yeah. The, the the balconies are so short. You could just literally bend over there and see you are really close to nature on the ship. Okay? Yeah, so just be just be, be cautious of that. Your kids, okay? So the next one, and this was probably the biggest con for me. Um the rooms are very tight on this ship. Ooh, and a tight squeeze. And, and I'm not even talking about just our interior room. I've seen into the other rooms like when they're cleaning them. The, like I said, this ship has mostly ocean view cabins. Yeah. And so I've seen them cleaning the ocean view cabins. They've had the doors open yeah. and they're basically they're about basically the same size, the same. maybe yeah. a little bit bigger. Yes. Uh, but the rooms are are really tight, especially that interior cabin we're in. I'm not even going to hold you up. It's, it's tight. We have to, I can't, I got to like roll out of the bed <laughs> um, the way that it's situated. And, and for us to get dressed, I mean, it's like we're. It's, uh, bumping into excuse each other me, excuse me excuse me excuse it's me. it's very tight the, the shower is small you know the bathroom is a little tight the bathroom um, is so tight the toilet is angled it's at an angle yeah you can't go straight and then ladies you know how we like to get dressed in the bathroom no you have to step outside the bathroom and then you're gonna be in our way <laughs> <laughs> so and the, they got nice little velvety in there but woo, it's tight yeah it is tight in it's there tight so in there, but you're not gonna spend a lot of time in there if you're trying to get a deal in the budget, just keep in mind what we're telling you because we don't want you to be shocked once you get on here. Don't be shocked that the, you know, your interior is, is very, very small. Our last, uh, our last con for this ship is uh, the buffet area on here is is a throwback for sure. How would you explain it? It's, 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 explain? it's very small. And so because of its size restrictions, is very limited on the options variety, right right um so we found you know because sometimes on, on these ships a lot of times we'll do uh, a buffet night maybe one or two nights instead of going to dinner we just don't feel like getting dressed up or whatever we'll mm -hmm. do a buffet we just couldn't do it on this one because we, we there just wasn't there. that much selection in the buffet and it, and the selection it did have didn't look good to us exactly. we didn't try it i'm not saying it was the food was bad but mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this about the breakfast. The eggs were very watery the in the morning. The eggs is watery. I would recommend so, you get an omelet. Yeah, okay. You you have to get an omelet on here. But other than that, uh, all the other items that they had out there I tried were, were pretty good. Um, it's just that the buffet is so small and your options are very limited. I, I felt the same way. I agree with Mr. Traveler. The buffet is old school in a circle. So you just going pretty much in a circle the whole time and the buffet has not changed a tremendous amount. It's, it's the same thing every day, but I'm thinking because it's such a short cruise, they keep the menu limited so they can wow you in the MDR because the it's MDR beautiful. is beautiful in there. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. And I think they really want you to kind of go have dinner because that's what you're really paying for. Yep. And, and so that's our, that wraps up the pros and cons. We're gonna do another video about sailing out of the port of Tampa. Uh, I think we'll sell a little bit more out of Tampa. I think we're gonna try it again. And uh, we want to do another video, kind of talking about, you know, 
using a cruise to get away from your mental health and things like that. Yes. Uh, yes because yes. this is kind of this whole event right here is stirring up a lot of reasons of why we started doing what we do. And, uh, you know, I'd like to sit down and talk to you guys about that. We'll do that on another video. I think the cruising is therapy. It, it helps. It's good for the soul. Yep. It's good to recharge. It's good to say, you know what? I'm just going to let some other people take care of me in this time of need. I've been through a traumatic experience. I lost my best friend of 14 years. I love that dog. I'm telling you, that yep. was that was my favorite dog. And, and I only had two dogs in my life. That was He was the one. And when you go through something like that, it's a shock to the body. Or if you lose a loved one, it's a shock to your body. And to regroup and retreat and just relax and take it all in because you can't stop life. You gotta keep life in. Life is going to life, but you have to deal with getting through it. And when you experience those raw feelings, sometimes you need to regroup and get yourself together and go back out in life. And it can be done. That's why me and Mr. Traveler don't drink because we don't need to. We know how to work these cruises where we use them as therapy, you know, and it's good for your mental health and it, it's it's good to to have this in your life. So to me, it's healthy. It's, it's one of my health things to do, just like working out, eating healthy, cruising. That's right there up there. All right, everybody. So yep. thank you so much for tuning in today. <laughs> thank you. If we can help you book that dream vacation, make sure you give us a call 877-69-74470. Or we can be, you can book right online at www.mr-traveler.com. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Life short. Have fun. See you in the world. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.